Welcome back to Spend Too Much Diecast. What's going on, crew? All right. So we have a big unboxing diecast video that we are going to be doing today. We are going to be unboxing the Green Ranger and the 2002 Honda NSX Type R Japan spec. So you can see on the table here, we have a lot. We have the 124th down here. We have the 132nd here. And then we have another version of the 132nd here. And then over on this side, I have a whole pack of nano figs. So we started off with opening the red one, which I will show here. And basically it was the same thing. You had the 124th and then the 132nd. And then if you guys remember right there was a mini fig that we added to the 132nd. Now Jada is starting to sell some of these 132nds with a nano fig right there. So they already are starting to sell them with the nano fig. Before what I was doing is buying nano figs to go with the vehicles. Um, we did it on a couple other ones. I'll show them here. But we did it with the Joker and Harley Quinn. And I did it also with, uh, I can't remember what the other one was. If I have a picture though, I'll put it up here. And then also I bought some of the um, older Avenger cars and I got many figs with it. And now I see that they released some new Jada um, Avenger cars. I'll show pictures here of War Machine and Spider-Man. And guess what? They're selling them with mini figs. Originally, Jada started doing it with the Batman series. So it's kind of nice to see that they're adding those extra ones. Don't know if it's the same minifig. Um, I think this video will kind of explain it. So, yes, we have a lot to unbox here. All right. So I'm going to get open the 124th. I'm going to get open the 132nd and the other 32nd. And then we'll go through them. So basically, here are the boxes. Here is the one. 32nd without the minifig. And remember, that was the red one we opened. And then here's the one with the minifig. And this is what you guys are gonna be you guys are gonna like. Bam! So they're actually coming out with a couple more. Looks like they're gonna be doing a blue ranger, a pink ranger, and then they're gonna redo the red ranger with a different vehicle. Because if you remember, the first one that came out was actually the GTR. Now they're going to do it as the Toyota 2000 GT. So we'll have two versions of the Red Ranger. So that is pretty cool. And then here is the box for the 124th. And like I said on here, it, remember it was just the Red Ranger and the... Um, Green Ranger, and I do know that they are releasing the White Ranger. So, just a spoiler we do have the White Ranger. That is cool. So, I was kind of holding off to unbox it just because I wanted to see if they are going to release the smaller version, but since I don't see it back here. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to do it, but you can see for the 124th, we got the red, the green, and then we'll have the white eventually. kind of sucks that they did it as the same car. Like, I wish they would have actually done it as a different one, not the um, Acura or the Honda NSX. All right, so now that we've had our little spiel... Let's go ahead and get these things unboxed, and then we will come back when they are all done. Alrighty, everybody, and we are back. Okay, just decided to get it opened off camera just because 
I figured there are a lot to go through and try not to keep or try not to make this video too long. So I guess we'll just start, we'll do item numbers, I guess, when we get to the vehicle. So basically we have the 124th over here with the character. And then we have the two 130 seconds. So I think what we'll do is we'll start off with the 132nd that was the single box. So this one was sold just as this. Then at the end, we'll do um, a little bit of a quick comparison. I see some differences already, so we'll get to it. All right, so the box numbers for the 132nd are always generic. So you gotta look at the bottom of the vehicle. So right here, this one is 31843. 31843 scale 132nd 2002 Honda NSX Type R. So the Japan spec. So this one should be right hand drive. It is considered the Honda, not the accurate Acura, because it is from Japan. All right. So let's take a quick closer look at this. All right. So the bottom here is plastic, it's all part of the base gives it that lip and all that. The insert there is plastic. Otherwise, the bumper is die cast. Got some plastic for the um, headlights. And then there is the Honda logo with the gold, green, and white for the uh, Green Ranger. All right, go along to the side. We have the uh, chrome rims, the rubber tires, and then of course, there you go. There is the um, logo for the Green Ranger. And for the life of me, I can't remember what his animal was. Because usually when they morph, now this is the original movie, which was Mighty Morph and Power Rangers. They all morph into an animal. So I will try to find that and put a picture here. But then we got the HKS logo, Endless and Zale or Zeal. It's us say, I don't know, I can't read the very, very bottom of it. And of course, with the 132nd, you only get the opening doors. And oh, there it is again, guys. Look at that. No paint on the inside door jams. So this one is right-hand drive. So here's your passenger side. Of course, it is just all a plastic casting. No extras. Your motor is actually in the back here. Rear motor vehicle. All right, so going to the back, you have the Honda logo. The license plate is actually the Hollywood Rides because this is from the Hollywood Ride series. Plastic wing, red plastic taillights. And here is the passenger side, or actually the driver's side. And of course, this 132nd does not have mirrors. And I just noticed that up here. It looks like there are the teeth up on the front bumper. All right, so there is the one from just the box alone. So then this metal fig is actually from, what is this, the 20 pack? So, and it was up there in the corner. They do have another Green Ranger, but that is from um, Power Rangers Zoe. And I think that's like the fourth installment of it. So that would actually come after mighty morphin so i'm not going to do that one but just take a look at this figure here all die cast um i think every part yeah every part of this is die cast arms everything the sword and then they just paint it the different colors and these sometimes have an item number on them yep 99672 And this green is way different than the green on the vehicle. But I don't remember what year these nano figs came out. All right, so now next up, we are going to look at the vehicle that was sold, oops, that was sold with the minifig. Now that one, I wonder if that has an item number on the box. That one does. All right. So that box item number is showing 32871. 
32871 is the box number. The vehicle number is 33124, 33124. And the metal fig number is 31 or 33156, 33156. Item numbers necessarily don't mean a lot, but I just like to give them out. Sometimes you can search for it by using those numbers. So this is basically going to be exactly the same casting. It's got exactly all of the same um, graphics on it. I did notice a little blemish there. Looks like it's got the same wheels and everything. Same interior. Ugh, no door jam paint. So here's the back. This one does not have the Hollywood Ride license plate. But otherwise, this is the same exact casting, so we're not going to go too in-depth about it. And then here is the metal fig that it came with. Again, this one looks identical to the one out of the um, 20 pack. So let's just do a quick comparison on these. I'm sure you guys can see the difference, but look at that green. So the green is completely a different shade, different everything. So this was the one that was sold single, and then this was the one sold with the character. As for the gold, even the gold is off. I don't know how much it's picking up on the camera, but this one looks a little bit more yellowish when this one actually has a little bit more of a gold feature. And there it is again. So that is about the only difference I can see. And then of course on the back here with the license plate. Oh, and these are chrome and those are just all black. So they did a little bit different, not too much. The wheels look the same, all the logos are the same. Only thing difference is the different color green, which is way off. So if you guys like color variant, you're gonna have to pick up the, the, the two models. And then, now we'll look at the metal figs. <laughs> you can already see it already. So this is the one that came with the vehicle, and this was the one from the pack. It's an identical casting. Again, only difference is this one almost looks teal now compared to green standing next to that one. So I will say that this metal fig is a lot better than that one. Like I said, this one looks like a, a blue teal aqua compared to the green but if you just have it alone, I mean, I guess it kind of looks more green. Yeah, when it's up against the car. So crazy how that plays with when other colors are around it. So there we go. There are the 130 seconds. And down here, I will put the Facebook and Instagram. Make sure you guys go check that out, especially our Facebook page. If you guys are on Facebook, I put up picture albums of every single car that I unbox. So you'll be able to see this car, all the detail information, that car, that car, the metal figs, all item numbers, all that good stuff. So definitely go check out our Facebook page and like that page. That page. So there is a ton of information on there that you guys will probably like. All right, so now let's go ahead and get right into this 124th with the character. So this one is going to be a box number of 31 Nine zero nine three one nine zero nine. The vehicle is going to be three two zero one zero scale one twenty fourth. Everything is the same, and not sure if this is going to have no. Nope, there is no item number on the bottom of this, so we'll go ahead and start it off with the character. So nice chrome, green, gold, white. Um, only thing, so the arms seem to be plastic. Yeah, it just looks to be the arms and his sword. So just the arms and the sword, well, his belt, the belt and the sword. So his arms, the belt, and the sword are plastic. Otherwise, everything else is die cast. And there is a lot of detail on here. Looks pretty cool. 
And this character does stand, I mean, it does have a pretty good stance. I mean, it's a little wobbly, but, you know, once you stand it up and you got it right, it's not going to fall. So, I do believe there is a base that came with it if you want it. But this character actually stands pretty good all on its own. So put that back there. Now let's go ahead and check out this vehicle. So again, this bottom piece here is going to be all part of the base. Plastic insert. This one's got chrome and clear glass for the headlights. Of course, there's the Honda logo. Nice gold color. And this one is a lot of more of a uh, like a candy 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 apple green instead of the candy apple red no but it's like a chrome green and i do love the gold wheels with the chrome lip and this one seems about to have the same hks endless zeal upmost quality brand Ooh, you can actually read the bottom of it now there is the logo it's got the rubbery style rear view mirrors with the sticker on it Take a look at the inside. See, they paint the inside there. Okay, this is cool. So it's got the red seats, kind of like the true Type R's do. I don't know what it's trying to focus on. But we'll see that on the other side. And that is cool. The top here is matte black, not like a gloss. Um, same with the 130 seconds, if I didn't mention it. All right, then there is the motor in the back there. Put a little bit different coloring, a red piece and some chrome. Just let it stick out a little bit more. All right, now this one on the back. Now this one has the JDM tuners license plate. But it's part of... I think this was part of the Hollywood Ride series. So they're putting it as all different series. So originally these vehicles came out in the JDM tuners. So I don't know if you want to consider this a JDM tumor, tuner or if you want to consider it part of the Hollywood Rides because that one said it was Hollywood Rides. So however you want to categorize it. But like I said, these cars were first released as um, JDM, tum JDM tuners. And I think we have one already. This wing back here is plastic. And then you're going to have the same for the driver's side. Um, nothing in the back here opens. This glass doesn't open. Nothing like that. And there we go. Here's the driver's side. There are the gauges in the back. It's got chrome steering wheel, chrome pedals, chrome shift knob, looks like. And then everything else is just black minus those red seats. So that is pretty cool. All right, and then this um, hood does open, or whatever they call it, a bonnet, a hood, trunk, since it is rear wheel. It is in there pretty good. So, there we go. So, nothing in there. I think maybe, like, the radiator might be up front here. Or, like, the power steering reservoir or something. But, on this casting, it is just all black. So, there we go, guys. There is a wonderful green Power Ranger... Um, unboxing so we'll just do a quick comparison like we usually do between the smaller ones and the 124th the biggest one I can notice off the bat minus the paint job because even this even this green is different than that green it's closer to this green but this green has more of like a chrome look to it rather than this green uh, minus details which we all know I mean you could definitely tell the chrome compared to like the black housing headlights but the biggest one I see are the wheels so those two are chrome and this one they did gold and I think the gold looks a lot better I wish they would have done the 132nd wheels in gold as well but that is basically the um, comparison between the three cars. I wonder if I can balance them all. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So there we go. There are the three cars. There are 
the two nano figs, and there is the 124th character. Perfect. All right. So if you guys haven't already, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can join the Spent Too Much Diecast crew. Then also hit that bell notification. That way you guys can get notified every time we put up new videos. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. Everybody who likes, subscribes, shares, all that good stuff. Again, make sure you check out the Facebook and Instagram page. And then at the bottom in the description, there is a link to our affiliate page for Diecast. So if you're interested in buying any of the diecast that you see on this site or on this um, on our YouTube, check out that site if they have them for sale. Um, they usually always have good deals. That's where I buy most of my stuff from. That's where I bought the White Ranger. That's where I bought um, some other stuff. So definitely go ahead and check that out. That way you guys can also get some of these cool diecast. So there we go. And again, check out our Facebook page. It'll have all the the pictures of this stuff so until next time thanks for watching and let's get our trans transition but thanks for watching spent too much diecast and we'll see you on the next unboxing Thanks for watching another video from Spent Too Much Diecast. If you will, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our Facebook page where there are more pictures and information on the vehicle that you have just seen. And also, on the right here, you'll see some more videos from our channel. Thanks again everybody and have a great day.